Hi everybody! I'm Sandy Sandler and I'm the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker. And I want to welcome you to our Monday night show. And if you're new, every Monday we do a Facebook Live. So definitely join us at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. So today we are going to celebrate Valentine's Day. I cannot believe we're only 10 days away from Valentine's Day. So I'm going to start by making a little bow and um, we're going to use our scrunchie ribbon. And for those of you who are regulars, you know that um, we will pick a winner. Oh, I want to get my, my, my Facebook up so I can see. We'll pick a winner um, and give somebody a free roll of scrunchie ribbon. So please write, I want to win, so we know you're here. And at the end of the show, we'll pick a lucky winner of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. So this is our red scrunchie ribbon, and I'm just going to scrunch it in here. And then I'll take, um, oh, you know what, I didn't measure it. Let me tell you how much I've got. I have 17 inches. So I'm just gonna scrunch it down. And hi, Terry. And then now I'm gonna just fold this in half and put this down in here. And you guys, please make sure you share with all your friends. And scrunch that down. And now we have some of our silver scrunch. And I'll scrunch that down in here. And take my wand and just kind of push it. And take this and scrunch this in here. So that's what I really like about the scrunchie ribbon. Oh, and then now we've taken some of our Bodabra mesh and it is eight um, rows across. Uh, so we just cut it into rows of two and I have about six and a half inches are each one of these. So I'm just gonna lay these. And this will make a really pretty little um, hair bow or pet bow for Valentine's Day, or really for any time, because red and silver, you can pretty much wear whenever. So I'm gonna pull this back up here, pull it while it's still through. Now don't forget, you guys, write I want to win in the comment section so that when we pick a winner at the end of the show for our scrunchy ribbon, you'll be eligible. So we're gonna bring this back around. Hi, Marlene! How's Louisiana these days? And just tie it off, tie a knot, and kind of, what I love about the scrunchy ribbon is you can just kind of manipulate it. Um, and there you have this like cute little bow that you could tie it onto your puppy's leash for Valentine's Day. Hey, Jay wants to know, do you have a video on making rag bow? Um, I don't know. I don't know what a rag bow is. So if you can send me a picture of a rag bow, if we don't have a video on it, we can definitely make one or do it during a live. We do take special requests for our lives. So this could be a really cute little puppy bow um, for your little dog. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to our next one. And, oh, hi, Linda and Penny. Um, yeah, so Penny, just if you can uh, either PM Bodabra picture, put one up. Oh, you guys, so cool. I have a meme. Somebody made a meme. And uh, Terry, I bet you can pull that up and put a link to it. I was so blown away that they obviously had fun with it and put a lot of work into it. It's from a Boda our original Bodabra video from like, oh my gosh, 20 years ago. So I have like Nancy McKee and hair and it's really funny, but that it's kind of cute. So I'm gonna take my wire folded in half, so you guys have to watch it and share it because it's really funny. So now, um, I'm gonna take, I've got, let's see, what do we have here? It's, um, this ribbon is nine inches wide and we cut about eight inches. So I'm just gonna scrunch it into my whatever <coughs> and scrunch that down. Or as I say in the meme, push it in and you guys are gonna crack up when you see it. 
So now this is a one and a half inch one. Lucinda Guzman says, yes, I've seen the meme. <laughs> isn't it funny? I know, so that's hilarious. So now I'm gonna just twist, wait, did I tell you how long that was? Um, that is uh, 32 inches long. So I'm just gonna twist it and fold it back. So this is really cute. You could even put this on a wreath um, or it could make be a big Texas size hair bow and twist. And you know, the funny thing about that meme, um, Lucinda, is Crystal, one of our designers, had seen it and she didn't want to tell me about it because she was afraid I would be offended. What's one and a half inches wide? And I think it's cool. I actually was honored that somebody spent the time to make the meme. So bring this back over here and twist. And again, if you're not familiar with how you make a regular bow in Bodapra, what I'm doing is I'm folding twisting and pushing it in. And every time now that I say push, I'm gonna think about that meme. So now I'm gonna fold it back and push it in, fold it back and then bring this one over here and just scrunch that all down in there and take my wire, bring it back up. Hi, Annette. Thank you so much for sharing and Lisa. And you guys really, I, I so appreciate when you guys share because it means so much to me and it really helps us out. Because I put a lot of work into these lives and it it's really nice when you guys share. So now I'm just going to shape out my loops, kind of pull them in different directions. And go here. And now, how were you guys able to see? I want to actually thank everybody so much. So you have this really pretty bow. I think that would look great on a wreath. You could, whoops, there goes my bow. You could put it um, on the hat um, or anything. But super simple to make. So I'm put this one aside. And then now, this could be a really pretty, like, flower. Well, Vivi has decided to grace us with her presence, but she's gonna go outside, I think. See if I can put my hat back on here. Um, oh, hi, Donalda, thank you. There's Vivi, she's joined us for a couple minutes. Usually she doesn't come out, but tonight she is. So now I'm going to just fold my wire in half. Thank you, Plurden and Matthew. And Donalda, you guys, thanks so much for watching and sharing. And again, I want to thank you guys so much because last week we had, we had so many internet issues and the ribbons at Catherine's collection were so amazing. So um, we're definitely going to do more projects using their ribbons. So I'm going to fold this in half and lay it down into my bodabra and just tuck the ends underneath. Now, um, and this, we're gonna, we don't have it on the website yet, but this is actually one of our zebra stripe Bodabra with ribbons. And it's really pretty because it has, um, it's a satin with just really nice glitter on it. And it's, um, I have 12 and a half inches and it's one inch wide. And all I'm gonna do is fold it in half and just lay this down and put this in. And then this is another thing that we're going to be adding to our website are these beautiful lights. I'll turn it on so you can see. And um, then I'm going to take another piece of this and this is a nine inch. And um, I'm actually just going to make a little, oh, you know what? I'm wrong. I want to put this in next. Sorry about that guys. So this is a one and a half inch wide and it's 26 inches long. And what are you, look like you wanna say something, Vivi. So Vivi is definitely joining, so I'm just gonna put a tail there, fold it back. Vivi, we know you're there. <laughs> She's definitely making her presence known today. So now I'm gonna take this um, nine and a half inches and it's one inch wide of our, um, zebra this is our maroon zebra print and then i just have these flowers that we're going to lay in here and then i have and that the mats what i love is just you know taking flowers out of the kit um and this is a two inch wide ribbon 
and it's 16 inches long and I'm just gonna make a little scrunchy bow in here. Hi, Brandy. So now, and Brandy, thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. And I'll take my wand and just scrunch this down in here and bring this up here, pull it through my slip knot. Mandon appreciates it when you tell us the measurement. Oh, thank you. And I try so hard to do it. Sometimes I forget, so I apologize. But, and also, if um, I don't give you a measurement, like remind me to give you the measurement, just in case I forget. So I'm just going to tie a knot here and another knot and clip my ends. So this could be a really pretty, if you wanted to put this um, on the table. And so what I'm gonna do here, what I love about these is they're on the wire, so I can kind of fold them around the lights and put them into the arrangement however I want. So now we have this really pretty, just get this all here. It's a really pretty little flower that you can put on your table. Um, in your centerpiece. Isn't that cool? So, oh, hi, Darlena. And now take this back over here and we're gonna make a really pretty little bow that could be a hair bow. And take this off here. Makes it a lot easier for me when I keep them in the little buckets. I'm gonna start with this last bow that I started making. Um, I took, started by taking my Bodabra bow wire and just laying it down into the Bodabra and tucking the end underneath. Also, thank you guys for sharing. Thanks for hanging in there. I'm going to like hang on just a couple seconds to let people find us again. Um, I'm trying to find us myself. Manon says she's back. Oh, cool. Thank you. So now I'm going to take this ribbon. Linda Becker says welcome back. Thank and so you. does Matthew Angelo. Oh, thanks you guys so much. So we have seven inches by two and a half inches and we've dovetailed the ends. I'm just gonna fold it Crystal in. Crystal Jewel says yay. Oh, thanks Crystal. Oh my gosh, I get so frustrated. I have no idea, it, it has to be my phone because now I have four and a half inches. This is our Bodabra zebra stripe with the gold stripes on the white. It's a satin. And I'm just gonna stick that in there and it's one inch wide. And I'm gonna put this one going that way and this one in now. So it looks like it must be my iPhone because if the iPad works and I can't even get this to come up on my iPhone, I think I, think I need a new phone. Oh, oh well, such is life. So now I have this really pretty tool. It's 11 inches by three, is it three inches? No, two and a half inches wide. And we're just going to do a little um, scrunch. Karen Mondry loves your colors. Thank you. I know these are really pretty, aren't they? So then I have um, this corker ribbon and I buy it pre-made so I don't have to do all the twirling. And so this is a piece that's about uh, five inches long. And I'm just going to lay that in here. And then this is like about four inches with that one. And it comes in, you can either buy them in long strands or short strands. So this makes a really cute um, hair bow or ponytail holder. And then I'm just gonna go here, pull it up, and pull this through my slip knot, hold it tight while it's still in the bodabra, pull it out, um, separate the ends. And hey, you guys, don't forget to say, I want to win, because just in case you're joining us late, we did, we are gonna give away a free roll of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon today. So um, I'm gonna just tie a knot and tie another knot. And if you're watching the replay, please make sure you find part one because we went for about 15 minutes before we had some technical difficulties. So now I can Brandy just- Aldrich says welcome back. Thank you. You guys, thank you so much for sticking with me. It's got to be my phone because the iPad's working fine. So, um, so you have this really cute and you can just tie that onto a ponytail holder or a barrette. Um, and you have a super simple, it could be for any time, not just Valentine's Day. So I'm going to put that aside and now I'm going to make a really pretty little bracelet. And again, we're using our Bodabra rhinestone mesh. 
um, and we haven't cut it. This is about um, an inch and a half wide. And this piece, I've got 11 inches, but really you just wanna cut it so that you can um, put it around your wrist and I, you can either use like a glue dot or, um, or tie it with a the, with the wire. So I'm gonna take my Bodabra silver wire and, I mean, and you could also, you can use the rhinestone or um, really any leather or whatever as your, for your wrist. So I'll take my bow dabber bow wire, folding it in half, and I'm gonna lay it down into my bow dabber. Tuck it underneath. Now, um, sorry guys, we're in my garage, so you're probably hearing a truck right now, but it will be on in a second. And then this piece is six and a half inches long, and this is a two and a half inch wide ribbon. So again, we dovetailed the ends, and I'm just gonna scrunch it down into the middle here. And then I've got this piece, which is one and a half inches wide and nine and a half inches long. And I'm just gonna make a little loop and fold it back over and make a little loop there. So I have a loop and then I'm just gonna take the center and scrunch that down into my Bodabra. And then I have this really pretty piece of just pick with um, rhinestones on it that I think will look real pretty in here. And I'm just kind of folding up the end of the wire and I'm gonna stick that down and then take my wand and just sort of push it all in there and bring it back up, pull it through. And if you're watching the replay, please let me know and please tune in every Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific 7 p.m. Eastern when we do our lives, and then you'll have a chance to win the Bodaver Bow Wire. I mean, not Bodaver Bow Wire, the Bodaver Scrunchy Ribbon. And just pull that through, tie the knot, and clip the ends. And I'm just going to shape this, and I'm gonna just wrap this around here. And you have a really cute little bracelet. And you could easily, if I wanted to, I could take a glue dot, which I think would probably hold, and just put this, put the glue dot there, and put it on my wrist, and bring it around, and I have a really cute little bracelet. Super, super simple. So now, yep, the glue dot holds. <laughs> oh, but my hat didn't. Okay, so now I want to make a mask for a Valentine's Day masquerade um, dance or party. And so I have my little mask here and we will glue it on the mask when we're finished. I'm gonna start with my Bodabra bow wire. And I think I'm actually gonna make this in my mini Bodabra. My mini over here, fold it in half and just tuck it underneath. Then I'm gonna take some of our scrunchy ribbon, and don't forget to say I want to win if you haven't already, and scrunch it down in here, because we're gonna announce the winner in just about maybe five minutes, because we are running a little late due to our technical issues. And then, now this is our silver, white with silver um, uh, zebra ribbon. And I've got four and a half, four inches, and it's one inches wide. I'm just gonna push that down in here. Oops. Scrunchy ribbon is pushing everything up. So there we go. And lay this one in here. And lay this one down in here. And then I'm gonna take my flowers and just lay those down. And again, I'm gonna just kind of push everything in and then I have this cute little boa oh and the boa is 15 inches long so I'm just gonna make little tiny loops going back and forth which is why I wanted to use the mini for this one because it's much easier to make the really tiny loops in the mini bodabra and scrunch that back now, I don't know, are you guys, if, if you're not aware, we do have, whoopsie daisy, let's push this back in here. 
I'm putting a lot in here, so I'm gonna have to kind of cheat and hold it down with my hand while I pull the wire up. Um, we do have a Bodabra app, and so you can download it for free from your app store, either, um, either iTunes or Google Play. And I'm trying to pull this through my slip knot, but something's not working the way it's supposed to work. Okay, here we go. Pull this through. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. So now I'm pulling it through my slip knot and I'm holding my bow down. I'm gonna have to get my finger out of there. Oh yeah, yeah, you guys. Okay, there we go. Pull it really tight. Now when I pull it out, everything is all together. Let's separate the ends. I'm going to bring it around to the back, and I'm going to tie a knot, and tie another knot, and we still have a couple more bows to make that hopefully you guys will stay with me, and we will make them. So, tie it tight there, and I'm going to clip the ends, and then I'm going to shape it, and I want to bring my flowers around so you can see the flowers in there and pull out all my scrunchy ribbon and now I'm going to take a blue dot or the dots are actually what I'm using and I'm going to just put it right here and then I can take my really pretty flower and put that over the mask. Isn't that cool? So now I have my masquerade ball Valentine's Day mask. So now I'm gonna put this back down and this is a really fun like hair bow. And don't forget if you're watching this, we have part one from where we started tonight before we had technical difficulties. And now I'm going to pull my wire. And I'm sorry because I can't see comments, but I'll definitely reply to them later. And if you're watching the replay, please let me know. Man said cute. Thank you. So I just thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch me. Now this we measured earlier, so it's nine inches wide, but um, let me get rid of all this extra wire. It's nine inches wide, and this piece is uh, 37 inches, so about a yard. And I'm just going to go down the center and just make a scrunchie bow. So, scrunch that down in there. And just kind of finish it off. And take my wand and give everything a little... Oh, I'm using the mini wand, but it works. So, um, scrunch that in there. And then I have this really pretty, just white tool. And how much white tool do we have here? It's a six inches wide, and it's exactly a yard as well. So I'm just gonna scrunch that down in here. And so next week, I can't remember what we're doing, but it's gonna be, I think like floral decor. So hopefully you guys, it's gonna be so much fun. And if you can join me next week for our live, we'll be 4 p.m. Pacific. Now this is tubular match. And it's nine inches, and it's so much fun to work with. And I'm mixing it with my um, my corker ribbon that's eight, about seven and a half inches. So I'm just going to push that in there, and then take another piece of my tubular mesh, another piece of my corker, another piece of the tubular, and then another piece of my corker ribbon. And I'm just ugh, I need my regular wand. I'm going to scrunch this all down in here. And now take the wire, pull it through, bring it really tight, whoopsie daisy, bring it really tight while it's still in the bodabra, pull it out, separate the ends, bring it around to the back. And this would be really nice on a package for Valentine's Day or on a Valentine's Day wreath. And now I'm just gonna clip my ends here. And um, now I'm going to shape it. So we're just going to shape it by pulling it around. So it's almost like a flower with our scrunchy ribbon. Bring this around here with the white. And let's just bring this around there. 
and you have this really cute little, um, I mean, it could even be a hair bow so or a package bow. So anyway, I hope you guys like it. And again, if you like my lives, please share with your friends. We are live every week at 4 p.m. Pacific and 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. So um, one thing that I did want to show you guys, I have one more bow to make, um, is that if a lot of people will ask me, like our, our um, the Bodabra, um, mini Bodabra and the Bodabra tool and ruler, the ruler fits right over it. And um, it has inches on one side and metrics on the other. But the metrics are actually really good for your little itty bitty bows. And the mini bow dabber still works perfectly um, with this on it. But it comes with a CD, um, and, which is a downloadable software. And the reason that we include the CD, but you can also get it from the app as well. The reason we include it is because if you were to print it out, this would be the book. So there's no way that we could afford that we show there's 70 different hair bows with step-by-step -step instructions. So it's, you know, everything from your pinwheel to your um, twisted bows to cheer bows. Um, so it's really cool. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. So I'm going to put that away and we're going to make, oh, and then this hair bow is made easy you get with your VIP membership, which you get free when you buy a Bodabra or mini Bodabra. So I'm gonna put this aside here, and we're gonna go on to our last bow. Um, so um, let's take my wire, cut the piece, fold it in half, and lay it down into my Bodabra. And I have, Let's see what we've got here. We've got a bunch of pieces, so really scrap pieces of tool. So this is, um, let's see, we've got one yard and two yards and two about two and seven eighths yards. And I think if I'm correct, this is nine inches wide. Yeah, nine inches wide. And all I'm gonna do is fold it back and forth we're just making a really loopy base here. Darlena Bradley Hoffer Wilt says, I love both the mini and big Bonabras. Oh, thank you so much, Darlena. That means a lot to me. I really like them too. I honestly wasn't, um, you know, a big, I didn't understand the need for the mini at first, but oh my gosh, I use the mini so much. Um, and the hair bow ruler is really good for if you're making hair bows and they have to be exact. So two yards, three yards, and four yards. So we've got a lot of tool here. Five yards, and I bet that's about a half of a yard. So we have five and a half yards of tool. And all I'm going to do, so plus the two and a half yards we had when we first started. And all I'm doing is just folding it back and forth. We're making a base. So this could be real pretty, um, even as like a little centerpiece. Um, so fold this back and forth. And so anyway, I wanna thank you guys again for putting up with our technical difficulties today. So I have one yard, this is two and a half inches wide, and I have one yard and 32 inches. So I'm just gonna twist it. And so we're just making a regular fold and twist bow. So there we go. And twist it. And so again, just in case you're new to Bodabra, when I fold it, I want to make sure the wrong side of my loop is on the, of my ribbon is on the inside of my loop, which is why I twist. So I'm going to twist it and bring it back over and fold it and twist and do exactly the same thing again. So we're gonna fold and twist and, whoopsie daisy, okay. And then bring that back around over here. And then I have um, two more pieces. This is a two, I believe this is two inches. No, Darlena wants to know. Two and a half. Have you used just regular cotton fabric to make a bow? Yes, I actually have. Yeah, you can use fabric for sure in, in the Bodabra. 
Uh, Lisa Belmar wants to know if there is a ruler for the big Bodabra. There isn't, but we're working on it. That is my goal for this year, is to get a ruler for the big Bodabra. So here we have 26 inches, and I believe this is a one and a half inch wide. And I'm just gonna twist and fold it back and fold and twist and um, fold and twist and then just bring this back over here and now I'm going to take my wand and scrunch everything down into my bodabra uh, now I'll take my wire bring it up I'm gonna pull this through pull it really tight now did we did did Terry come back on and give us a winner yet uh, yes, she did. So who was our winner? Brenda oh. Cottle. Brenda, congratulations. That's so awesome. So remember, you guys, every week um, on Mondays during our live, we give a free roll of Bodabra Scrunchy Ribbon away. So that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to tie a knot. And I'm going to tie another knot. And... Then now I'm just going to shape my bow, just starting in the center here, and go here, and separate the ends. And so basically we're just shaping. Now these are wired ribbons with the exception of the tool. So the, I like the wired ribbons because they do make it a little bit easier to shape. And we just... The, the nice thing about the tool, and I would put, I think you could put some um, little candles on either side of this, and it would be really pretty centerpiece. So, anyway, so that's um, our day, our Valentine's Day show. And I'm going to do one more thing really, really quick. And I'm going to grab some of my silver scrunchy ribbon, just so you guys know what, we're, what you're winning with the scrunchy ribbon that we give away. And I'm gonna take, now the cool thing about the scrunchy ribbon is the more you put in, the poppier it's gonna be. So this is, um, I've got one yard and about uh, 11 inches. Hello, Vivi. And Vivi is saying hi. She's waiting for me to go inside and make her dinner. Um, so now I'm gonna just fold my wire in half, lay it down into my bodabra, tuck the ends underneath, and take the scrunchy ribbon and like it's name, named, we just scrunch it in. And just keep scrunching it. And so every week on our, um, on our live Monday show, we will give away a free roll of our Bodabra scrunchy ribbon. So I'll pull it out. Separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and tough it out. And if Vivi would ever pose, but now because I'm walking over to Vivi, I bet you she runs inside. See, there she goes. Come here, Vivi. So see, she doesn't. She says, Mom, I'm not a model, but she's such a pretty model. Like, hello. So... Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you next Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, and 7 p.m. Eastern. Bye, and thanks so much.